Welcome back. It's still Breakfast Daily right here on City TV. And it's time to get into some creative lifestyle conversations. Now, I have on the set with me Esinam Agle. She's a, con she's a cosmetic scientist. And, I mean, you'll see why she's a scientist in a few minutes. But she's also the founder of Enam Cosmetics. I mean, it's a brand that, let me just see me, I've discovered it recently. I'm very excited about it. Or I'm just putting that out there. Um, but, of course, the show is interactive. If you have any questions at any point, do send us a WhatsApp message. 0550585832 and if you're texting us from beyond the shores of Ghana prefix it with the country code plus 233 also use the hashtag breakfast daily across all social media platforms now it's time to talk about specifically um, you know something very interesting good morning Asina good morning how are you doing good how good, are good, you good I'm well thank you so we're looking at um, a topic that I think a lot of people take for granted um, it has to do with skincare. And so we're looking at the chemistry of the skincare products that we use. Why is that something that we should even be concerned about? We mm. should be concerned about our skin um, and the product that we use on our skin. Um, this is because um, the skin is a protective barrier um, for the body. It protects us from harsh environmental mm. conditions. And also we need to make sure that the skin is well moisturized. Mm. So that's where lotions come in. Mm. Um, lotions contain a cocktail of ingredients like oils, waters, humectants, um, different vitamins and different extracts okay. and antioxidants okay. that are all good to keep our skin healthy. Okay, so when we talk about the chemistry of the lotions we use, what does that mean? So um, we all know when you pick up your lotion bottle, you see that it contains water. Water mm -hmm. is the most ingredient, um, the highest amount of ingredients in it. We have different oils, different natural oils. We have butters like shea butter. Uh, we have some waxes, we have some thickness. Um, but we all know that when you mix water and oils mm -hmm. together, it doesn't blend together. Right. The oils are less dense, so the oils will be on top and um, the water will be down. So how are we able to blend all of these ingredients to form the creamy uniform mixture that you have as your lotion? Mm -hmm. um, so this is where the chemistry comes in. Mm -hmm. We use a special ingredient that we call emulsifiers. Mm -hmm. um, so what these emulsifiers do is that they help the oils and the waters to easily combine together to form a creamy uniform mixture okay. so that we can have all the goodness of the water-based ingredients and all the goodness of the oil-based ingredients together in our lotion. Okay, so are there different kinds of emulsifiers? Yes, so okay. there are several different kinds of emulsifiers. I have here um, a liquid emulsifier which is okay. easier to use. Uh, we have solid emulsifiers um, and we also have different categories of emulsifiers. We have non-ionic emulsifiers that we use in lotions. We have cationic emulsifiers that we use in hair conditioners mm -hmm. for example. So there are different emulsifiers for um, different okay. types of right. cosmetics. Okay now when it comes to these emulsifiers are some of them better for the skin or more harmful to the skin than others? Right, so there are, we have the more natural emulsifiers and we have the synthetics. Okay. Um, they all have their different um, functions. Um, this one, for example, is derived from coconut. Okay. Um, there are other emulsifiers that are derived from olive oil um, and several different um, substances. So okay. I wouldn't say they are harmful to the mm. skin or one is better than the other. It's just that they have different sources. Okay. So it all depends on what you're making. Mm. Um, then you would use that to okay. choose the okay. emulsifier. Does that then also mean that we need to really read the labels of the lotions we buy? Because assuming I have an, a known allergy to say coconut right. or to olive oil products right. and I don't read the label, I buy it, I could break out possibly. Possibly, yeah, Or yes. react to it in right. a way that, you know, right. so, so we need to be mindful of yes. that. Yes, so we need mm -hmm. to be mindful mm -hmm. of um, the ingredients in our um, 
lotions. Yes. That's very interesting. Okay, so we have interesting things here. I see, I mean, taking me back to my chemistry, physics labs. I see some beakers. I see, of course, there's water here. I see a mixer. I would think cake or biscuits <laughs> in the kitchen. So what are, what are we doing here? What are we, are right. we making? So we are going to do what we call a water in oil emulsion. Okay. Um, so we have our water in a beaker. Yeah. Like I mentioned, water is the main ingredient in your lotions. Okay. Uh, we have a humectant. It's sky water, by the way. Sky water. <laughs> we have um, a humectant. Okay. The humectant we are using is glycerin. Okay. So what's so, a humectant? So what uh, humectants do is they attract water from the okay. atmosphere okay. so to keep your skin moisturized. Okay. So that's one good thing to look for in your lotion. So okay. we have different humectants like glycerin, honey, castor mm. oil. Um, these are all good to moisturize the skin. Okay. So she's added the water. We're going to add our humectant next. Okay. And then we give it a stir. Do you have to stir it for a particular length of time or? Until it's fully Until dispersed. Okay. So the glycerin is water soluble, so it dissolves right in. Okay. Next, we are going to add the oil. We have here Shea okay. oil. Okay. All right. And there we go. Perfect. Typical of oil. It's right. Sitting right at the top. Right. So we see that the oil is right on top. It does not mix into the water. So now comes our special ingredient, the emulsifier, mm -hmm. which would help the oils and the water to mix uniformly. So we're going to add about a spoonful, just, okay. just a spoonful. Yes. All right. Okay, and once again, this particular emulsifier is coconut based. Right. Okay. So is it a coconut milk or a coconut water or? It's um, from both the milk and from some of the chaff, the chaff as well. Okay. Right. okay. So now we're going to blend everything okay. together. So in, when, once we're dealing with the emulsifier, we can't just use the spoon or the spatula to mix. So when you mix with a spoon or um, the spatula, it would mix together, but there will be lumps. Okay. So what okay. the... We Are disconnected. We yes, okay. we need to so plug we help with that. Interesting, right? So we, we've just made lotion. Yes, we just made lotion. Okay. So it smells like coconut. Oh, I can smell coconut. That's interesting. Yeah, so that's um, basically how you put together the ingredients to make the lotion. Um, you would now add any goodies that you want. If you want fragrance, essential oils, you would add it. Okay. We also add preservatives to extend the shelf life. The lotion. Okay, so what kinds of preservatives go into a lotion? There are different kinds of preservatives. And I um, imagine it's a little more interesting when you're trying to maintain a natural product. Right. Yeah. 
Right. <laughs> um, so one natural preservative we use in lotions is sodium benzoate. Okay. Um, it's naturally derived, so that's one um, emul um, preservative that we use okay. for uh, lotions. Okay. Yes. okay, wonderful. So let's go through this one more time. Let's just run, especially for our viewers who just joined us. Okay. We're talking about the chemistry of our lotions, right? The lotions that we use. And Enam explained, well, I'm calling her Enam, that's the name of her business. Yes, you know, <laughs> explained, you know, lots of interesting things here. So I just want you to run us through one more time. We're okay. talking about the chemistry of the lotions that we use. Okay, so lotions are made, are mixtures of water and water soluble ingredients like humectants okay. and oils and oil soluble ingredients mm. like your coconut oil, your shea butter, cocoa butter, um, beeswax. These two ingredient types are mixed together, but we know that oils and water do not mix. Mm. So we need what we call an emulsifier. So an emulsifier is a specially engineered um, compound mm. that has both a water loving portion and an oil loving portion. Um, together in that compound. So it helps to marry all the ingredients, mm. all the oils and all the water-based ingredients together mm. to form this uniform um, mixture that we mm. see as our lotion. Okay, wonderful. So, and you're assuming somebody wanted, you're sitting at home and says, oh, you know what, I want to try to make a lotion. Are these things that they can find around easily? Yes. So, um, these, and of course, water. Yes, but right. Water else? is easily available. <laughs> Glycerin is easily available. There are um, suppliers that supply all of these ingredients. Yes. Okay. All right. It's wonderful. Is there anything else you wanted to add, Asina? Um, I'd like to add that we should be careful of the ingredients um, that go into our products. Um, if you have dry skin, for example, you need a lotion that contains humectants. Okay. Um, you need a lotion that also contains a good amount of oils and, and butters. Again, let, let me see if I'm a good student. Humectants are substances that attract moisture from the air or from the surroundings. Uh, that's right. right. Okay, so that's they right. help to keep you moisturized. Right. Yay. You're a very good student. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Right, so um, it's critical to look at all of these ingredients okay. that go into your lotion. And one thing also to note is that any product that contains water, you want to make sure that it's well preserved. Mm. Um, so don't buy an a, a water-based product that says preservative free. You definitely mm. need But why to is that so? Because I would think that water it's easy to preserve on its own even. So why is that the right. case? Right, so water, when you combine water with um, these oils, it makes it very susceptible to microorganisms, mm. bacteria, yeast, and mold. That makes sense. Um, so if you want to extend the shelf life, you for products to be safe for the consumer, you want to make sure that your lotions are well preserved. Okay, wonderful. Esina, where can we find you? So we are on <laughs> social media. You can find us on both Instagram and Facebook at Enam Cosmetics. Um, you can also give us a call on 055-372-2602. We do offer training programs as well for individuals and groups that want to learn how to make cosmetics. Oh, I love that. So, uh, find us on social media and send us a message. Yeah. And Esinam, you need to be at City FM, City TVs. This is Ghana. Yes, we are there. Oh, we you are there. Yay. Yes, we are there. You have we are going to be, to be there. You have to be. And I mean, I'm glad that you're not just you're teaching people. You're actually creating a product line and you're getting other people to, to do it in their own way. Because right. we need more indigenous things yes. for our skin, skin. that right. work for right. us. Right. Yeah, it's it's wonderful to see this. Wonderful Thank to you. see this. Thank you very okay. much for having us. Always, always. So we've been speaking to Esinam Agble. She's a cosmetic scientist and she's a founder of Enam Cosmetics.